Yeah, that's how you end up with Goldberg and, um, oh god, I forget who was in the match. When it was the when Jericho and Owens were supposed to be the main event at WrestleMania for the Universal Title. Yes. And then they brought Goldberg in instead. Yeah. Like uh, man, uh, yeah. I visibly groaned, like audibly groaned when Goldberg came in, because I was just because I knew I, I knew where they were going. They were gonna set it up, and I'm like, oh, that's gonna be such a good, damn good match. And it was a good match, but boy, would it would have been so much better if they had more time if it was a championship match and. It had been those two, right? And I and I agree with that. But of course, they use they had to use the Brock Lesnar ego for that. I don't know how much that had to do with Lesnar, though. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. What better way for Brock Lesnar to get over on Goldberg than to not yeah. only beat him? I think, but take the title. But I think Brock Lesnar gets a bad rap for his ego. When I think what it is is, it's a well-known fact that Brock Lesnar doesn't like interacting with people, and he prefers to have a schedule where he's not constantly there. But I don't think it was ever part of his deal. Like he was like, oh yeah, and by the way, I have to be the champion. I don't think that was ever part of his. Like I don't think his ego's that big, frankly. Well, well, because okay. I think Brock Lesnar couldn't give a shit less whether or not he has a wrestling title. Well, no, and you're right, but. In the same sense, it's like Brock Lesnar doesn't need the title either. Exactly. He doesn't need it. No, he doesn't. And Owens, that, at the time, Owens needed that title. Right. And ever since he lost it, look what's happened to Owens. Well, it's not even so. It's not even just that he lost it. It's the fact that it was like pulled out from... Like, you remember when he won the title? How yes. fucking cool that was? Yes. What the hell? What the hell for Triple H? That was an awesome yes. moment. That was so badass. Kind of like... And it's still one of my favorite moments of his is actually his NXT debut. Oh. It's one of my favorite matches when he was facing CJ Parker, who would, who would become uh, Juice Robinson. 